In this video, we are going to show you how to set up motion-based recording and alerts on your security cameras through the Internet Web Service. First, let's make sure we are recording correctly. Go to Setup, and then Schedule, located under Storage. Since I am using Channel 2, I will change my channel to the camera I am using, which is D2. Right now, it is set to record continuously. To change that, I am going to hit Setup. I will click off Continuous and click on MD, which stands for Motion Detection. After that, I'll hit All, and then I'll hit OK. As you can see, the bar is turned yellow. Press OK once more. After configuring your recording schedule, we will go to Event. Next, we will go to Video Detection. Again, before we enable, we want to be aware which camera settings we are changing. I will change to D2 since that is the camera I am using. Next, I will click Enable. Now, I set my period. For this demonstration, I will leave it as is, but to make sure, I will click All and then press OK. After, I will set my region. Region designates exactly where motion alerts will go off. You can set different regions based on color and change the size of those regions. When finished, hit OK. Notice, you can set your system to send email push alerts, a buzzer, and other options to help you better secure your region of interest. After I am done with my settings, I hit OK. Motion has now been activated. Now, let's test it out. Let's go back to preview and check on it. For the sake of demonstration, we will walk by and we will see what happens after I am done recording a moment of me walking by. So in this case, motion alert should have gone off. Let's make sure it was recorded. So let's go to playback on your NVR web interface. Click on the camera being used, in this case it is D2. As you can see, we have some motion recorded and some continuous. When I zoom in, we'll be able to distinguish which one is which, and then we'll check on the motion to see if I got the correct recording. Clicking on one shows a time only motion was recorded. Let's find the motion recording we just made. As you can see, there it is. You've now correctly configured motion detection on your NVR and camera, which you will now know how to view and set up through the web interface. Thanks for watching.